I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a scene from a TV show called Nashville. This is a show that I really enjoy. It's been going for three seasons so far and it's been renewed for a fourth season. The show is an American musical drama about country singers in Nashville, Tennessee. In the scene we're studying, two singers, Juliet Barnes and Raina James, are on a plane together with their managers and staff. They're working together, but they don't particularly like each other. And Raina's manager is telling her that the president of a record company is interested in working with her. He says, she wants your next five records. Wrong song got you back on her radar. She loves what you did with that. Radar is a system which sends out radio waves to detect things like planes and ships. It comes from radio detection and ranging. So you might be able to guess what the idiom be on someone's radar means. If something is on someone's radar, it means that it's among the things being considered by someone. Rainer's manager Bucky says, wrong song got you back on her radar. Wrong song is the name of a song. He's saying she was impressed by the song. It made her notice you and be interested in you. There are other idioms using radar. You can say that something has dropped off the radar or has fallen off the radar. Those both mean that something has been forgotten or ignored. When the other singer in the plane, Juliet, hears Bucky talking about this, she says, we co-wrote it. Co means to. And Raina says, co actually means with. Raina is right. Co is a prefix which means with or together with. Kia ora, in stick news today, an 82-year-old man was arrested after he slashed the tires of a fellow bingo player. Fred Smith is a bingo player who lives in Florida in the United States. Last Monday, when Fred arrived at his weekly bingo game, he saw that an 88-year-old woman called Ethel was sitting in his favourite seat. Fred stormed out of the bingo hall and slashed Ethel's tyres with an ice pick. Unfortunately for Fred, the crime was caught on surveillance cameras. Fred has now been banned from bingo, and it's likely he'll have to pay $500 in damages and restitution. And that was Stick News for Monday the 1st of June. Kia ora. Today's word is y'all. Sounds very strange when I say that because we don't say y'all in New Zealand. Y'all is a contraction of you all and it's a second person pronoun. So if you're saying you to two or more people, you can say y'all. For example, instead of saying, would you like a drink? You can say, would y'all like a drink? But y'all isn't used everywhere. It's particularly used in the Southern United States. And Wikipedia says it's also used in a few other places, such as in South African Indian English. Here's a map showing y'all usage in the US. Nashville is in Tennessee, which is one of the southern states, so people on this show say y'all a lot, such as in this scene when Juliet says, when we're on stage, y'all act like I don't even exist. We co-wrote it. Co means to. Why is she on my plane? Oh, right, because she can't afford her own. Can you? That's interesting, because when we're on stage, you'll act like I don't even exist. She wants your next five records. Wrong song got you back on her radar. She loves what you did with it. Co actually means with.
I'm three feet away from you. I can hear you. Radar comes from A, radio detective and ranger, B, radio detection and ranging. Radio detection and ranging. Ko is a prefix which means A, to, B, with. With. People say y'all more in A, Nashville, B, New Zealand. Nashville. Nashville is a city in A, Tennessee, B, Texas. Tennessee. Fred slashed Ethel's tires because Ethel was A. Cheating at bingo, B. Sitting in Fred's favourite chair. Sitting in Fred's favourite chair. And that was The Daily English Show. Remember you can go to thedailyenglishshow.com slash 1428 to see the script for today's show. And if you're looking for our podcast feeds, please go to thedailyenglishshow.com slash podcast. Thank you very much to everyone who's subscribed to us in iTunes. And if you have a spare couple of minutes, I would really appreciate it if you left us a review and rating in iTunes. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.